You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. This is the Mind Health Coach with your host, Leah Marie. Change your mind, change your life. Your life is your choice, and you don't have to walk that path alone. Let Leah help you explore healing, inner peace, self love, and bring joy and wellness into your life. So now, please welcome the host of the Mind Health Coach, Leah Marie. Welcome to the Mind Health Coach Program. I'm Leah Marie, your host, and you're listening to a live broadcast here at the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. The Mind Health Coach Program is aired every Monday night from 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure to tune into the show on Mondays at 6 if you want to improve your life. To learn more about me and the programs I offer, you can visit mindhealthcoach.com and you can also learn more about my eight weeks to a bread of brain using Muditation's daily meditation program. You can learn a lot of details about this and uh, different reasons to utilize meditation for improving brain health at muditations.com, as well as checking out the blog page on uh, mindhealthcoach.com's website. Um, It's Great to be here this evening with all of you out there that are listening to the Mind Health Coach program. Tonight, I will have a guest joining us to discuss ways to manage caregiver stress and work with those that are affected by dementia through the paths of yoga and Ayurveda. And we're going to address stress, as we usually do in this show, specifically caregiver stress, utilizing daily practices of yoga and Ayurveda. And we're going to speak about effective and natural ways for self-care and managing the stressors that affect us every minute of the day. And uh, my guest that's coming on with me, I've been working with him for about five years. He's the CEO and founder of FCP Live-In, which is an agency that specializes in live-in care for those needing assistance in the home. It's true assisted living in the home. His name is David Anthony. He's a CEO and founder. David, are you there? Hello, David, did you make it on? Yes. Uh, okay. I, I am here. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Sorry, yes. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Oh. I was um, introducing you. I was telling the listeners about um, how you founded an organization called FCP Living, and um, so FCP Living's been around for about twenty-one years. Correct. Twenty-one years. Yes. Twenty-one exciting years, and um, we bring assisted living, true assisted living, in the home. To our clients and um, we also bring um, caregiving um, to clients in the home um, mostly um, with uh, holistic um, care um, Leah and um, what we uh, offer is um, uh, holistic care in the home uh, assisted living and um, maybe you can tell us a little bit about, you know, how we met and how our um, holistic care works. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Dave and I met uh, about six years ago, and uh, I was working in the elder care field, teaching meditation at the time, and um, working with a lot of the elderly population. And uh, FCP Living had. Uh, you know, got in touch with me and we talked and uh, we thought we would bring the two worlds together and really implement a strong program that was to help our care staff 
on a corporate wellness level, um, be able to manage stressors, which involve different conditions when you're caring for people affected by dementia. Um, Alzheimer's is a dementia that is, it's very challenging for those that are caring for folks that have Alzheimer's and then other dementias too that are part of um, cognitive issues. So David and I worked together very closely and found that, you know, we both had a, a path in the areas of holistic practices and Dave had some great specialties in yoga and Ayurveda and I complemented it with meditation and Reiki and uh, aromatherapy and that sort of thing, which it just, it kind of really blended and melded together well for a great corporate wellness program. After we implemented that, we kind of found that there was interest from outside organizations to learn more. We ended up um, getting a CEU CEU program together for nurses and social workers. And we've also been um, hosted by the Alzheimer's Association for many caregiver uh, support group type things, but also trainings for professionals at some of the annual events around in New England. And, you know, we're very honored to share this information about how to manage these um, stressors that come in when we're, when we're caregiving. So Dave, why don't you expand on the yoga and the Ayurveda piece of um, what we do? Yeah, thanks. Thank, thanks for uh, laying that out for me. Um, yoga is um, definitely a, um, an aspect of self-care. And if anybody has done yoga before, um, they, they actually actualize um, what they're doing as far as um, uh, I, I, I'm, I, I'm sorry, um, Leah, can you take over for a minute? Sure. Oh, okay. Um, so yoga is a path that Dave's followed for a long time, and he has yeah. really um, taught me a lot about it because there's so – much that you can do to effectively release stress through the body. And when you're feeling that stress and anxiety through your body, it's important that you're mindful of um, that and know that it's time to kind of do some exercising and get some of that energy going that will help release, um, which includes endorphins and helps release that negative energy that's stored up in your your cellular level. Um, and I often speak about it a lot about the cortisol production and how, um, if we don't take care of our, our bodies, our vehicles in this life that we really are, um, impacting our overall health and yoga is, um, a great practice to do the ancient practice of yoga was really focused on releasing any stressors, any energy that's going to interfere with your spiritual experience of meditation. So when you're um, practicing yoga and you're going into the poses and you're um, working on that from coming from that aspect, you're preparing for the ultimate experience and your connection with your higher self. And so the yoga practices, some of us talk about it, you know, you, you say, oh, do you meditate? And, you know, you, people will say, oh, I can't meditate. I just can't do it. It's too boring or I can't um, get into that space. And then they find that, um, you know, doing something like stretching like yoga or I often speak about EFT I, I teach EFT, and so if you're doing EFT um, and yoga, you can get rid of that stuff that's getting in the way of you attaining that that mm -hmm. spiritual state of being and getting into the space for true meditation. And so, 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 so Leah, maybe you can uh, explain a little bit more about why uh, meditation is so important and why sometimes meditation is better than medication. Right. Yeah. So um, meditation is really great for um, rewiring your brain and getting in the space of um, being able to uh, release any of these stressors without taking a pill. And, you know, I often talk about these things on the show. I explain how um, if you rewire your brain, you can release a lot and have a a different perception on what's happening around you. So when we're talking about caregiver stress 
specifically caregiver stress, you're really um, you're really thinking about um, rewiring your perception of what's happening to this person that you're caring for in front of you and honoring where they're at. And so I know that it is about time for us to take a quick break. And so right now we're going to take about a two minute break. And when we come back, Dave and I are going to share some things about how to use yoga and Ayurveda practices for stress management more so and how we apply it, apply it to the workplace and to the families we work with. So stay tuned. I'm Do you really- battle with weight loss? There is a solution. Founder of Weight No More Consulting, Deborah Simons, can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know. I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. Servicing all of Canada, Weight No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Weight No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Weight No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Weight No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. America is out of control. Today's capitalism and the approach to money is in fact the symptom of a more widespread pattern of excessive behavior. In his book, The Culture of Excess, How America Lost Self-Control and Why We Need to Redefine Success, clinical psychologist Dr. Jay Slosar portrays an America where excess fuels the drive to succeed. Dr. Slosar examines the cultural factors that lead to excess ranging from obesity to fraud to pervasive budget deficits. His book examines the powerful economic and social factors and their impact on our psychological well-being. Dr. Slosar explores the psychological impact of increasing narcissism, perfectionism, self-destruction, and our identity confusion. He offers recommendations for helping Generation Me become Generation We. Those who resist Slosar's message will want to avoid his discussion of regulation and his recent message that at this point, democracy must be more important than today's capitalism. Get his book now online or by visiting thecultureofexcess.com. Welcome back to the Mind Health Coach Program. I'm Leah Marie, your host for this hour on BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio with the Mind Health Coach Program. So before we went on break, I introduced David Anthony, the CEO and founder of FCP Living. David is also a Kripalu trained yoga teacher and Ayurvedic consultant, and we work closely together to put together a program for healthcare and behavioral professionals, along with corporate wellness training, holistic stress management techniques for those that are on our care staff and for our families. So David, can you tell the audience a little bit about your training from Kapalo as a yoga teacher and Ayurvedic consultant? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, um, I I was actually um, introduced to yoga um, about 30 years ago. And I um, went to Kripalu, uh, the ashram, and, which is in Western Massachusetts. And um, I was trained in uh, yoga, which is an asana practice, as well as um, Ayurveda practices, which is the sister science to um, Kripalu uh, yoga. And what that is, is um, more of a... Um, um, Leah, can you help me out a little bit here? Um, um, sorry yeah, Dave, it sounds like you, you have something going on. If you want me to take over, that's fine. Um, you know, uh, yeah, we can yeah. do this. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, sure. So, you know, Dave, I guess, has um, an urgent thing, Abraham. So, okay. (laughs) So, um, Dave and I work together on putting this program together. Like I had mentioned before the break, he he has a CEU uh, program that we do for healthcare professionals, um, specifically for social workers and nurses. And uh, we utilize it a lot when we're talking to um, family caregivers as well. So um, 
it, it's really been uh, something that we've employed throughout New England currently. We have two events coming up I wanted to mention as well. So the two events are Tuesday on 515 at the FCP Live-In headquarters in Stratford, Connecticut. We're going to have an event from 4 to 6 p.m. And it's uh, going to be holistic stress management techniques. We're going to have our staff there. We're also going to be um, having wine and cheese there as well, which isn't typical for our events, but it's an open house along with a, a little discussion, a lecture about stress management techniques holistically for caregivers. Um, so that's going to take place on Tuesday, 515. And then we have another great event coming up at the center at Westwoods, which is, I, this venue is just amazing. It has a labyrinth that um, is outside and it's just beautiful. It's uh, recreated from someplace in, in France, I believe, and it's got Tibetan prayer wheels around it. Um, it takes about 45 minutes, like I said, to go into the center, which has a, a, an amazing uh, crystal quartz uh, right in the center there, clear crystal quartz on a stat on like a uh, a sculpture, and um, you just kind of go into the center. And as you're going into the center, you're releasing, releasing, and um, you get to the center, and you you actually leave everything there that's within you and you allow the clear crystal quartz to work it all out for you and you spend a little time in the center and then you come out of the labyrinth slowly with intentions building and um, it's really just a beautiful beautiful experience we're not going to be leading you through the labyrinth but you're welcome to go out on the grounds and do that uh, we'll be hosting this event in the meditation hall and registration will be from four to five you can actually email me at info at mindhealthcoach.com in order to uh, get the registration going for you. Um, like I said, people that are um, social workers and uh, nurses can actually get one CEU credit from this program. And uh, we welcome families, uh, caregivers that are caring on a uh, support level to their family. You're welcome to come to this event as well and learned all about these techniques in person and uh, do some yoga and some meditation and that sort of thing. And so um, that's again on June, excuse me, June 5th at the center at Westwoods, 590 Gay Street in Westwoods, Massachusetts. And uh, the registration in the it's a networking and light dinner from four to five and then five to six we're be we're hosting a ce program um wear comfortable shoes and uh you don't need to bring a mat or anything like that we're not going into that level of poses it's going to be um more practical on the uh, more practice on the meditation side and then just some some minor movement strategies for yoga um, this program will demonstrate how to how meditation can improve cognitive function. It also improves emotional wellness through a ver Ayurvedic daily practices and aromatherapy in concert with acupressure. Um, the objective of this is to reduce stress through yoga movement and breathing practices and uh, all the other wonderful holistic stress management techniques that we show. It's for different levels, uh, you can be an advanced practitioner and pick up tips, intermediate practitioner, and just beginning learning on um, holistic type techniques for stress management. Uh, we we really encourage all to, you, you must RSVP, so please um, get in touch with me at info at mindhealthcoach.com if you're interested in attending this amazing event. A couple other notes about the, uh, the venue is, it's just like I said, an amazing space. It's spread out on 70 acres. Um, there are trails all over the property, uh, nature trails. There's a beautiful pond you can go sit next to and meditate. There is a well on the property. This is a very cool aspect too, along with the labyrinth. But there's this well on the property 
that they have built a platform down, like you walk downstairs and you get to, to be on this platform over the water and you can do a chanting meditation. It's so powerful. So that's something that's coming up that Dave and I are doing. And I'm very excited to talk about that. But right now we're going to be right back. I'm your host, Leah Marie. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back. Certified professional coach Pamela Reeves can help you with your relationships. Motivational and image coaching are just some of the ways she can help you enhance all aspects of your life. Her book, Is It Love or Merely a Sick Attachment?, helps readers clearly distinguish healthy, loving relationships from toxic ones. Ms. Reeves has put her words into action through Ray of Hope Kenya, an international initiative that provides outreach to victims of abusive relationships there with the goal of helping them rebuild their lives and the tools to avoid abuse. Ms. Reeves operates various businesses interest through her umbrella network, Nella LLC, and credits her success to her diverse work experience. Whatever your goals, whether striking a balance, reinventing your image, or simply lifting your lifestyle, Pamela Reeves will help you achieve them. Your life, your call. Dial 410-902-5715 or email Pamela at pamreg01 at verizon.net. She's also on the web at pamreeves.com and on Twitter at Pamela underscore Reeves. Renaissance woman, trailblazer, maverick. Those are just some of the words to describe Tashandra Poulard, owner and CEO of House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC, a woman minority veteran-owned entertainment company based in Washington, D.C. Ms. Poulard served 10 years honorably in the United States Navy and departed from active duty to pursue her dreams of becoming an entertainment mogul. House of Virgo Entertainment offers script writing, producing, directing, DJ services, editing, and more. They cater to businesses, corporations, college students, working professionals, aspiring artists and nonprofit organizations, and employ veterans of the armed forces. Tashandra Poulard is pioneering the way we view media and taking her brand global. Visit her at www.houseofvirgoentertainment.com or call 281-515-3740 and like her on Facebook at House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC. Welcome back to the Mind Health Coach Program with Leah Marie on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Um, Before we went to break, I mentioned that we've got a lot of different events coming up. Um, You might want to grab a pen and paper right now. I'm going to talk about some of the things that you can do immediately today to get stress moving out of your mind using Ayurveda and, uh, you know, yoga type therapies. Um, David Anthony, who is the CEO and founder of FCP Living, had to jump off the show. He had something imperative come up um, that he couldn't ignore. So I do apologize for that confusion. I'm going to cover the topics as Dave would. I Fortunately, this particular guest I know very well and uh, know his material quite extensively so I can do this. I can actually share these types of techniques with you. Um, Interestingly enough, as I mentioned before we went to break, we've got two amazing events coming up, one right in Massachusetts at Westwood, Massachusetts, um, and another one in Stratford, Connecticut, which is about an hour out of New York City. You can email me at info at mindhealthcoach.com if you want more details about Uh, these in-person events that we're going to be doing. They're actually for free. So um, it's a good opportunity if you know somebody who's caregiving or you're a caregiver yourself or you have a family member that, um, you know, that you know could use some stress management um, that is also caring for somebody with Alzheimer's. Or if you're a nurse or social worker, please reach out. I've got a wonderful CE program for, for that application, stress management. Okay, so a couple things that you can do with yoga when you're um, trying to uh, get yourself in a space of releasing stress, there are some different breathing techniques and that sort of thing. But there's also uh, different ways to manage just by uh, your environment. And I talk a lot about that environmental decompressors. And I uh, really love to talk about 
the perspective that we kind of have when we're looking at stressful situations. And if you just slightly alter your interpretation of a situa- situation to allow yourself to be in a space that's a little less removed and a little more um, as an observa- observ- observation that you're looking at something as an observation, you actually can employ these things more readily. And so when you're thinking about um, you're, you've had a tough day, you're, you've got a lot going on, you're in the like three o'clock and you just had it and you've been sitting at a computer all day, it's really not great for your body. You, it's important that you're mindful of your physical status and how it holds in the stress, how it makes you actually keep a hold of that stress. So when you are sitting at a computer, and by the way, sitting is the new smoking. We are, our jobs and everything we're doing all day really involves a lot of sitting, a lot of like focusing in on, on screens and working in a lot of different roles that are in different companies. Um, not every company, obviously, but a lot of companies do um, have positions where we're working at computer monitors all day long. And that's not moving our fluids around. That's not getting our bodies moving. That's not helping us with releasing the tension and stress and just reaching out and stretching out wide or up just you feel the total difference in your energy field when you start moving around and uh, winding, um, doing like an airplane, just moving the fluids, pumping your feet. All of those things get fluid moving in the body, standing up and doing a couple stretches. That's really, really important to do on every hour. Every hour on the hour is what my practice is because sometimes I do spend days working at the computer. Um, I have a lot of work that I do that way. So there are times where it's important that I'm mindful and say, well, I need to um, take care of myself physically and get that, that fluid moving. And it not only takes care of the fluid moving, but it also helps you release the stress and get the right endorphins moving through you to help you feel better. And um, so when Dave and I do our CE program, he actually does some different poses that are good for if you're standing in line at the grocery store or you are um, basically on an airplane. I mean, an airplane can be very constrictive to your movement for hours, and it's very unhealthy to sit there. And it, it's also, it can be stressful, too. You're in a space with a lot of people, and it's difficult. But let's talk about when you're a caregiver and when you have somebody with dementia and they're having stress, you're having stress, you're feeling that tension and stress building, there's some interesting things that you can do with yoga. And uh, we actually have a pamphlet that we can give you on different poses that are appropriate to do. Um, And Dave actually has a video on the internet of chair yoga. So um, there's For people that have mobility issues, there is opportunity to actually do a little bit of slight movement and gentle yoga um, that will help them feel better overall, feel like they're being purposeful. So those are great techniques to use um, when when you're having tension and stress and just needing to move those fluids to keep things going. I saw on the internet today, a um, 93-year-old yoga teacher that, teacher that uh, she's been teaching yoga for over 40 years, she states, and every day she's still doing her stretches for about a half hour a day and uh, then meditating. And it just, it, like she said, it helps her feel so balanced and uh, centered. And not only that, she also feels like she's able to physically balance better. She feels like she's more flexible, that it keeps things, you know, just fluid for her. And, you know, I've seen many success stories like this about people that are practicing yoga, and they're well into their 90s. It's it's um, a wonderful thing to see these folks that are that are still doing it. Um, And one thing that this particular individual stated is that you don't have to be um, 
any younger than 60 to begin. <laughs> you, you could start at 60, 70, or 80 years old. You could start practicing yoga today. So, and, and as I said, I've seen and witnessed um, people doing chair yoga in their 90s. So it's, it's really great that it's something that you can pick up at any age. There's different, you know, levels, obviously. Like you're not going to do hot yoga, <laughs> Bikram yoga at 90 years old, but you can do gentle chair yoga. And that's, uh, you know, a wonderful way to release stress. So we're going to take another short break. Um, it's on its way. And we'll continue this discussion on tips that come from the expertise of David Anthony of FCP Living, and that will help you manage stress using yoga and Ayurveda. And please feel free to email me at info at mindhealthcoach.com. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Psychologist, master certified coach, and CEO of the executive and organizational development firm True North Leadership, Dr. Relly Nadler brings his expertise in emotional intelligence to keynotes, consulting, coaching, and training. He is the author of Leader's Playbook and Leading with Emotional Intelligence that lays out tips and tools for effective leadership. Dr. Nadler has designed multi day executive boot camps for high achievers in Fortune 500 companies and has coached CEOs, presidents, and their staff and developed and delivered innovative leadership programs for such organizations as Anheuser-Busch, BMW, MCI, EDS, DreamWorks Animation, the U.S. Navy, and Vanguard Health Systems. To learn more and get your free iPhone app highlighting his tools with videos, leadership keys, visit www.truenorthleadership.com today. Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers biomats, alkalife, and frequency machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. We're coming to you live tonight and every Monday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the BBM Global Network and tune in radio with the Mind Health Coach program. I'm your host, Leah Marie, and tonight we were hosting David Anthony and CEO, uh, David Anthony, who's the CEO and founder of FCP Living, unfortunately had to jump off. Um, FCP Living is the leader in providing assisted living in the home. David was speaking about uh, yoga and meditation and Ayurveda as ways to manage stress and uh, also um help care staff that are, are working professionally um, the, for those that are caring for folks with Alzheimer's and other dementias. That's um, something that's a huge topic, especially with one in two people over 85 having Alzheimer's. Um, that's the statistics. One in two people over 85 have Alzheimer's. And, uh, you know, one in four people that are 65 and you know, between 65 and 85 have Alzheimer's as well. So um, Alzheimer's is an interesting disease. Uh, it's, you know, very devastating disease. It's very stressful. It um, brings stress to entire family units. And it's very unique the way that it has to be managed. Um, the care for somebody with Alzheimer's is um it's quite challenging and it's very difficult, like I said, for families, very stressful. And we're, you know, with uh, the different techniques that we're talking about tonight, it's very, very important to acknowledge when you're caregiving for somebody with 
that type of disorder with Alzheimer's or other dementias. There's other dementias out there too that can be uh, very stressful. But, um, you know, when you're caregiving for, for folks that have a cognitive issue like dementia, it's important to remember to care for yourself because if you're not able to care for yourself and um, bring about the wellness that you need to be able to be a great caregiver. And I'm talking professionally as well as, you know, if it's a personal family member, it's important to monitor your stress. Like I'm always monitoring all the caregivers that work for us professionally, even though they're experienced CNAs, PCAs, and home health aides, you know, uh, certified nursing assistants, personal care attendants, and home health aides. They all are experienced with two plus years experience. They have a lot of training. Um, they're certified. So, you know, you think, oh, those people, they're able to manage it and and do it. But when you're dealing with the um, stress that comes about from working with somebody that has some very um, unique situations and, uh, you know, that they're, they're at times they may be in total confusion. So they're asking you the same questions over and over again, or, you know, they're upset and they don't know why you're helping them. You know, there's a lot of times where you're just trying to do your best and you're helping an individual and they get very upset because they don't realize that you are actually trying to say, help them eat. Like, uh, if you're helping somebody that has Alzheimer's eat, sometimes they might get very upset and think that you're coming at them with something and they don't realize that you're just trying to feed them. So there's different techniques to help there um, with that from a perspective of approach to care. But as I'm saying, it's important to remember to monitor your your own self and make sure that your own stress level is in check so that you're not having catastrophic reactions as well. That's what happens when we become extremely stressed. We're humans, right? We're not robots. And uh, when we become extremely stressed and we're holding up so much and we're trying to manage all of these things, it's important that we're stepping back and saying, okay, I'm feeling it through my body. I'm experiencing these thoughts of of being resentful and angry and frustrated with this person I'm caring for. And I'm just, you know, I'm noticing myself getting snappy and I'm just like frustrated. That's when you're already too far. <laughs> so um, before that time starts to happen, you need to watch for those red flags. Am I feeling a little bit of upset and anger? Am I Are things that don't usually bother me starting to really, you know, annoy me or um, make me feel like I'm just exhausted? Um, These are some different red flags that you should be monitoring in your own being if you're a caregiver. Um, And that's when you need to know. I need to employ some different stress management techniques. And as I was talking about, yoga and Ayurveda are very, very helpful techniques, Um, we uh, talk about different strategies to uh, breathing even. There's um, different ways to actually breathe that can help bring you down to uh, zero stress. There's something that you do alternate a nostril breathing. And you can find videos online of this type of practice where you're breathing in through one nostril and you're exhaling and then you're you're switching sides. You're holding. Let me start over again. You're going to kind of um, push your thumb to one side of your nostril and you breathe into the open nostril and then you switch sides with the pinky finger and hold the other side closed and you breathe in and out. And so you're taking a, an in-breath and an out breath about one to four each time that you're changing the nostrils. And what happens is it starts to stimulate the right and the left side of the brain. And it also, it just gets the parasympathetic nervous system totally calmed down. It kicks that in and it calms your body right down. And so this is something you can do very, very quickly by like three or four sequences of breathing like this through the nose 
alternating your nostrils pressure, uh, closing the nostril sides, then you, you totally change your whole body in the way it feels just from doing that. Um, there's different ar- aromatherapy um, things that you can employ. There's different blends out there. There's lavender. There's a citrus blend that uh, is on my website, themindhealthcoach.com. I deal with doTERRA um essential oils because I believe I, I don't believe in you know I'm not one of the the uh, distributors that are are working to get you to sell the oils but you can go on my website and place an order anytime with me and I'll I'll get the oils for you my I I can provide you with oils that will help you feel relaxed, feel more rejuvenate, rejuvenated and that sort of thing. So we're going to take another break. And when we come up next, we're going to talk about some other ways to manage the stress through Ayurveda and yoga. We'll be coming right back to you in just a moment. Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers biomats, alkalife, and frequency machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. Dr. Rob Moyer is the director of the Ocean River Institute, and he is passionate about saving the ocean by helping dolphins suffering from nitrogen pollution. Nitrogen is a dangerous pollutant, affecting our oceans, altering ocean ecosystems, and contributing to global warming. The Ocean River Institute provides opportunities to make a difference and encourages people to go the distance for savvy stewardship of a greater and bluer planet Earth. Partnered with organizations from Massachusetts to Florida, Alaska to the Caribbean, the Ocean River Institute's mission is to foster involvement in conservation and environmental monitoring by facilitating grassroots efforts at local and regional levels. Hello, I'm Rob Moyer of the Ocean River Institute. Please visit our website at oceanriver.org. Sign up for free e-alerts. You may call us at 617-661-6647. Our email address is info at Ocean River. Become informed and then act with us. Thank you. We're back on the Mind Health Coach Program with Leah Marie on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Tonight we are discussing how yoga and Ayurvedic practices can manage difficult times for different situations with a focus, a specific, specific focus on caregiving and dementia. And, uh, you know, this is something that I talk about frequently. I do, um, I just was at the Rhode Island Alzheimer's Association annual event um, that that they hold for uh, professionals and for families that are experiencing Alzheimer's. And I spoke at one of their education breakout sessions about um, these types of pr- practices to help manage your stress from caregiving. And, um, you know, it was really well received as it has been at other venues that we've spoke at. Um, we've spoken for Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Connecticut, the uh, Alzheimer's Association on this topic and people just soak it up they really want to know and understand more about how they can employ these things for themselves because you know we have to realize that when we're having any level of stress in our lives it does affect our overall well-being so it's important that we we spend so much time when we're caregiving worrying about caring for someone else whether it be children or if if you have somebody you're caring for that has Alzheimer's um, or, you know, just a, an, a, 
elderly parent or, you know, just a people that are in your life that you need to assist. It is stressful because it's your focus is on them and getting the best uh, safe and, uh, you know, well-rounded care plan for them and not really worrying about what you're doing for yourself and with all the stress that comes with caregiving for these different conditions that we're talking about specifically Alzheimer's it can really really affect you and uh, the statistics on caregivers um, and their uh, overall well-being is it's pretty staggering when you hear that one in five caregivers pass before the one that they are caring for that has Alzheimer's. That's a real statistic. One in five caregivers, this this is on the family level, um, one in five caregivers caring for someone with Alzheimer's is actually going to pass or does pass before the person with Alzheimer's passes. And why is that? Because, you know, The person with Alzheimer's is the one with the disease. Well, the person with Alzheimer's sometimes gets to a state where they're not really aware that they have a disease. And if they're being cared for and managed, uh, you know, their behaviors and their their aspects of how they're uh, living in the world at this point in time are being managed very effectively, but it's on the hands of one person that's a caregiver that's a family member. It's extremely stressful. And so how do we deal with that? How do we um, ensure that we're getting enough of what we need and um, get the right care for ourselves in check so that we're not meeting that statistic so that we can actually improve that statistic? One in five caregivers of people that are caring for someone with Alzheimer's passes before the person with Alzheimer's. That you have to understand. And if you know anyone that is caring for somebody with Alzheimer's, please ask them if they need a break or if they need assistance themselves. Um, So how does yoga and Ayurvedic come into play here? So when you're looking at, I talked about yoga, the yoga side of releasing the stress, releasing the tension through different poses and movements, getting the fluid going. And on an overall basis, like if you're working at a computer and that sort of thing, how important it is for us to get our joints lubricated and, you know, just get that fluid pumping through the body um, that's really critical and how to release the energy and how to get there for feeling that inner peace Um, and then ultimately as the ancient practice of yoga was developed to ultimately have a wonderful meditation that connects you to your spiritual awareness and uh, you know having better communication there Um, how does Ayurvedic Ayurvedic practices work into this. Well, Ayurveda is a sister science of yoga, and it actually is um, intertwined very closely with yoga. You have your yoga routine that you do. Um, you can do about 20 minutes of yoga to de- uh, every day and then do another 20 minutes of meditation. And then you can also do the Ayurvedic practices as a daily routine, which is involving the senses. So with Ayurveda, Ayurveda is um, – it's like the origins of medicine and, you know – how you care for your body, this vehicle that we are in, and how we do it through uh, the natural resources that we have around us. And so with Ayurvedic practices, you're using different techniques that involve things such as essential oils, um, oils themselves like sesame oil, coconut oil. And so, you know, you want to make sure that you are really taking care of you. And that is what a self-care daily routine of Ayurvedic practices involves. And um, some of the things you can do are, um, you know, cleansing your mouth. You can use a tongue scraper. Um, We brush our teeth and you still have germs that are in bacteria that are on your tongue. But there's something called a tongue scraper that you can get at any, you know, store that's like, uh, you know, Walgreens or something of that nature. Um, You can get a plastic one that's very cheap, only a couple dollars, and you brush your teeth and then you actually take the tongue scraper and you scrape off the bacteria that's on your your tongue. It's like a white coating. And that's taking everything out of your mouth that's, um, you know, full of bacteria. And our mouths and our tongues are very connected to our blood 
system and how it's working. So that's why it's important to get the bacteria out of your mouth in the mornings. Um, that's part of the morning routine. And you want to also um, drink some warm water and lemon in it uh, initially in the morning. You can have some tea with some lemon. Um, you can do this practice uh you know, beforehand and then have some warm water with lemon. You can also do something called oil pulling. Oil pulling, you can use sesame oil um, or coconut oil and it's uh, swishing around in your mouth and then you should spit it out into your garbage or something so you don't clog up your sink. Um, so there's other things that we need to do for our senses and we're going to talk about them in just a moment. Uh, we're going to take a uh, another 30 second break. But when we come back, I want to talk about the rest of the daily routine. And I want to also talk about some things that you can do for yourself that are um, enrobing yourself in a higher vibratory experience on a daily basis to bring yourself to that space of whatever you need, whatever uplifting you need. So um, there's little tricks and techniques that you can do. And we'll be coming right back to discuss that in just a moment. MJ Domit is the owner of Expect to be Empowered, a company whose specialty is empowering people to live their best life by following their heart and accepting themselves unconditionally. After studying and making personal changes, MJ now focuses on giving others tools for self-empowerment. She provides individual and group workshops for people who are physically, emotionally, and spiritually blocked. Inspired by her work at Expect to be Empowered, MJ authored the book Waves of Blue Light, Heal the Heart and Free the Soul with a company empowerment cards she is a spirit book of the year gold medal living now book award winner and her book is a number one amazon bestseller in spirituality and was a 2012 gold medal winner recognized as the living now spirit book of the year an inspirational speaker mj will show you how you can repurpose every area of your life your life did not just happen to you you chose it which means you can change it visit www.expecttobeempowered.com or call 866-264-8024 my Dreams, My Challenges, and Joys is an inspiring book by author Linda Genazzo. This real-life account of raising a child with autism from birth to adulthood takes you on a journey of compassion, love, and hope as it tells the incredible story of a devoted family and their beloved daughter. Together, they faced adversity and never stopped believing they would find the help they were seeking. A breast cancer survivor, Linda Genazzo has a giving heart. With a background in social work with the mentally ill and the homeless, Linda continues to help families in her community. And her book, My Dreams, My Challenges and Joys, brings greater awareness to autism and those families in need. To purchase your copy, visit www.lindagenazzo.com. It's also available on Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. Don't delay. Get your copy today. We are back, and thanks so much, everyone, for listening tonight to the Mind Health Coach Program with Leah Marie, your host. And the Mind Health Coach Program is on every Monday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. So uh, before we went to break, I was talking about uh, Ayurveda and the daily practice of the daily routine to help you provide yourself with a lot of attention and love, like we talk about self-love, self-care, and this is an ultimate practice. So I had explained that you really want to take care of the mouth. You really want to um, do some different things. So uh, the mouth is the first sense that I kind of dove into. Neti pots are great to clear your nasal passages. That's something you can do on a daily basis, and it'll help you clear out any germs that may have gotten into your nasal cavity and, and get that working out of your system. Um, your eyes can be refreshed with spraying and misting with um, rose water. You can pick that up at a health food store. Um, you can just spray it near your eyes and close your eyes while you're doing this, and it makes you feel refreshed. Um, you can also do um, something that I had mentioned beforehand, the oil pulling. That's one aspect. Um, but there's something you can do with oil, sesame oil, coconut oil, and it can be a practice that you're doing with your loved one that has Alzheimer's. So you can take some 
oil and you can add a couple drops of say lavender or orange essential oil if if um, you're not allergic or the person with Alzheimer's isn't allergic to either one of those things. It's all natural. The essential oils that I sell on my website, mindhealthcoach.com are actually pesticide free and they're of the highest quality. You just need to email me and tell me what you need um, and I'll get in touch with you. Um, so this you can do with a carrier oil. So like a coconut oil or a sesame oil, um, coconut fractionated oil, actually. Uh, almond oil is great too. And you can add a couple drops. And a gentle hand massage with somebody that has Alzheimer's can do so much for both of you. If you are having somebody that is um, in an agitation episode and you're feeling agitated, then take some carrier oil, mix a couple drops of the essential oils in. Like I said, you got to make sure they're safe for the skin, like lavender and orange are great. Um, and mix it with the oils and then just gently rub um, that individual's hands, massaging gently each finger and rubbing the hand and just have that human connection because it will mean so much to both of you just to have that human touch and to have that experience and to relax and talk and laugh and make it a positive experience. And, you know, it, it changes the whole energy of things. When you take someone that has Alzheimer's hand and you just allow them to know that they're safe, that they're okay with you, that you're a safe person and you're helping them. And then the other aspect is you've got a couple drops of essential oil in there and essential oils have molecules in them that are called sesquiterpenes and they will help um, immediately talk to the brain and help people calm down. It'll help you. It'll help that person with Alzheimer's. So that is a great little trick and technique. And you can do this all over yourself too. You can get yourself all uh, massaging, self-massaging, giving yourself some real intense love that way, massaging your arms, your legs, and just being grateful for that moment with yourself and providing yourself that kind of self-care. Um, it helps you relax. It helps you know that somebody's taking care of you and that's you. Um, and so I just want to bring up those couple events that we've got coming up on May 15th in Stratford, Connecticut at the FCP headquarters, FCP live-in headquarters. We are hosting an event that will be featuring uh, Dave and I speaking about holistic stress management. Um, there'll be a couple of other aspects there as well, like cheese and wine tasting and stuff like that. And then the other event that we have is coming up is on June 5th at the Center at Westwoods in Westwood, Massachusetts. And you can get information from me about both of these events at info at mindhealthcoach.com. I look forward to speaking to all of you that are listening to the Mind Health Coach program next week on this channel, BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio and talking to you live. So um, see you all next week and thank you for listening. You've been listening to The Mind Health Coach with your host, Leah Marie. Tune in each week so you can experience contentment and a feeling of well-being on all levels of existence, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual on The Mind Health Coach Show with your host, Leah Marie. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.